Welcome to the TMC Net Business Video Spotlight. I'm your host, Steve Onderhaar. This edition of the Business Video Spotlight is sponsored by VBrick, developer of the VBrick Enterprise Media System, an integrated hardware and software system for distributing live and on-demand video and rich media content. Check it out at www.vbrick.com. This time we go to Irvine, California to visit with American Sporting Goods and the network manager there, David Hoffman, who tells us a little bit about the impact that online video can have in accelerating the manufacturing process and bringing products to market on a more rapid basis. Right from the word go, right, right from the word the, when the tooling starts on the samples. If the tooling is incorrect, the shoe gets built wrong, right? So our R&D department um, needs to see the shoe, needs to see the, t the tooling on the shoe. Um, they can't right now. They have to travel to China, right? That's that's what they used to do. They just travel to China and they look at the tooling. It's a, a two week process. Take a look at all the tooling and then fly back, you know. But if they're not physically there, the tooling will go wrong, right? What we did with video is we R and D started putting the tooling up on the web, and they could tell from because it was all high definition. They could tell the tooling was incorrect and they could make, the, make it a faster, more informed decision instead of waiting a month to fly out there and then having them retool everything because it was already wrong in the first place. Because there's a, there's a disconnect between China and here when it comes to communication. You know, and um, that's why we, we had to go over there and physically look at the tooling and say, that's wrong. That's wrong. You need to make it different. So right from the word go, from the tooling, right from the factory, you need to change that tooling. You know, so they can see it, they can show up the camera and say, hey, this is you know, is this what you want? No, I want you to make a cut here, you know. Um, so that saved a huge thing in the way of tooling. Um, and then when they physically make the shoe, right, before they even fit test it, they can put it up on the camera in Shanghai and say, look, is this right? And because of the high definition cameras, we can actually zoom into the glue and see if the glue is correct. Uh, if the glue's been just splattered all over the shoe, we can tell before we get the sample's even shipped, no, you need to make a new sample use less glue. <laughs> so we can even, from, so before it even reaches the states, we can already make an informed decision about the tooling, an informed decision about the fabric that's being used, and an informed decision about is it a, is it a good working sample. If you show a sample that's spread with glue and the stitching's incorrectly to a, a vendor or to a, sorry, a retailer, they're not going to buy it, right? So before the sample's even shipped, we can say, is this sample okay? And they can put it up to the camera, they can put it on the high definition camera and say, look, is this okay? And it turns out, as Huffman explains here, that once you begin accelerating the manufacturing and product development process through the use of online video, it can have ripple effects on other parts of the organization. Because the tooling's faster, everything else is faster. Um, so we were, this was the first year, actually one of the first years that we got, to, we got our stuff to the market on time. It helped with the tooling side of it, and it helped with the, the stitching, and it helped with the glue, and it helped with the, the final, yes, please ship that sample, you know. So the samples were here on time, which is great. That's time to market. We're on time. We can sell the shoe and we can get it going. When it comes to traveling, uh, we used to have to bring every sales rep in here to take a look at the shoe. They could just physically look at it, spin it, and go, yeah, I love it. You know, That was travel. That was a uh, hotel, flights, all that wonderful stuff. Um, and the sales reps were like, why do we have to be there? Can we find some way online to do it? You know. And we didn't want to buy them their own cameras, their own microphones, you know, a bunch of stuff that are laptops. We wanted a situation where they could view, they could dial into a conference number if they wanted to, but they can make an informed decision. They can say, yes, my vet, my retailer would love that shoe. So yeah, the benefits were huge when it came to travel. We've sa probably saved this year, we probably saved about $20,000 on travel alone for our sales reps. I think the number's more. Um, even the CEO likes to use it in his house, so to talk to people in China. So it's a, a huge benefit. Our thanks goes out to David Hoffman and the rest of the crew at American Sporting Goods for sharing their enterprise video implementation story with us. That's all the time we have for this edition of the TMC Net Business Video Spotlight sponsored by VBrick. I'm your host, Steve Onderhaar. Be sure to join us again next time for another story from the front lines of implementation of business video in the enterprise. Thanks for your time.
That's all the time we have for this edition of the TMC Net Business Video Spotlight, sponsored by VBrick. I'm your host, Steve Underhar. Be sure to join us again next time for another story from the front lines of implementation of business video in the enterprise. Thanks for your time.